I am an anime fan, and most likely so are you. But what the fuck does it mean to be a fan of something? What is a fan? How do you define a fan? Are the different levels of being a fan? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, I think it's all fucking stupid. If you think you're a fan of something, well then, that that's enough, you're a fan of it. Obviously there are, well I say that, but I'm about to sound like a massive hypocrite, but there are some caveats to that. If you haven't experienced something for yourself, I wouldn't say you can call yourself a fan of it. For example, if you've only experienced Jojo through memes, you're not a fan of Jojo, you're a fan of Jojo memes. Even if you get the references and such, you've only experienced it secondhand through memes, so I wouldn't say that you yourself are a fan of that thing, you're a fan of things spawned from it. Um, as for me, um, as much as I love Persona 3, and would love to call myself a fan of it, I've never played it. And there's a whole video I plan to do on that that will come out at some point, probably soon, um, of me talking about why I love Persona 3 and why I haven't got around to playing it. But I haven't played it. I haven't experienced it for myself outside of watching someone else do it. Uh, so can I really call myself a fan of it? To some extent, yes. I can say I enjoy it and I enjoy the story, but I've only seen one uh, experience of it. I've not seen every possible outcome. So I can't really call my... But obviously, experiencing all of something isn't the way you become a fan, or a true fan, if you will. The true fan is another completely arbitrary bullshit term that I also despise, to some extent, um, because it kind of implies that someone can be a bigger fan of something than you, even if, you know, you like it equally. I, that sounds... I didn't really word that well, but I know what I mean. If you get what I mean, leave a like because you're cool. God, that was terrible. But, um, experiencing all of something doesn't make you a fan. You can't, you aren't gatekeeped from being a fan because you haven't experienced all of something. For example, the Shin Megami Tensei series, if you are a Western fan, it is physically impossible to experience the entirety of the SMT franchise, or the Mega, uh, or the Mega Ten franchise, not just Shin Megami Tensei, because not all of the games have been released in English, or even have translation patches made for them. So you literally cannot have experienced all of it, which would be saying that if you are not Japanese, you cannot be a fan of it, which is obviously ridiculous. Now, gatekeeping is its whole other can of worms, but the, I do believe that there should be a certain amount of gatekeeping on things. For example, don't try and call yourself a fan of something, as I said, if you haven't actually experienced it. You can try and involve yourself in a conversation about it. Like, I mean, for I, I mean, I have a brilliant example of this. Naruto. I have never watched a single... I've watched the first... In fact, that's a lie. I've watched the first six episodes of Naruto. Yet, I know far too much about it for my own good through second hand and hearing people talk about it to the point where I could most likely lie my way through a conversation about Naruto and no one would really be any the wiser. Well, unless they watch this or my other video where I talk about Naruto where I explicitly say I've not watched it. But that's my point, is you can lie your way through a conversation about something if you've experienced enough media secondhand about something. But does that really make you a fan? I mean, that's up to you to decide. Like I said, if you think you're a fan of it, sure, you can be a fan of it. I'm not the arbiter of what is and isn't a fan. This is just a weird discussion type thing where I'm going to give my two cents on it and you can give me yours if you really feel like it. And if you think I'm an idiot, well, call me out on it. Because I'd love to be called out because I can, you know, maybe get some content out of it. Where was I? Oh yeah. I feel like I had another point about this, but well, yeah, I guess we can talk about being a quote-unquote true fan. Um, again, I think being a true fan is ridiculous, because a lot of people will say, like, oh, you don't own any merch of this thing, so you're not a true fan. <laughs> like a complete mongrel. The amount of money you have, or disposable income, not just money, but disposable income you have, and what you choose to spend that on, shouldn't dictate how much of a fan you are of something. Because if you physically cannot afford to buy hundreds of hundreds of figures that cost hundreds of pounds or dollars to you know get well then surely not buying them because you literally can't shouldn't decide whether you are or aren't a fan of something or a quote-unquote true fan of something you know what i mean your money and you know your financial situation shouldn't determine how much of a fan you are of something similar to similarly light novels this is mainly in the anime community i am a fan of uh the monogatari series However, I have never read any of the original light novels or novels, so can I really call myself a fan? Someone would probably say, and I go, yes, 
I've experienced the whole story for the most part. Obviously there are things I'll have missed because I haven't read them, but believe it or not, I don't know Japanese, and buying books costs money. So reading all of them is a bit ridiculous right now. You know what I mean? And again, I can give countless examples, like I said, with take the Persona series. I've not played Persona 3, Persona 2, or Persona 1. Does that make me a fake fan? No, of course it doesn't. I like the series. I really, really enjoy the franchise. And I'd call myself a fan of it. Hell, I bought the collector's edition of Persona 5 Royal because I love the game so much. But again, that's putting money into it because I could afford to do that. So I'm kind of contradicting myself, I know. But you get my point. Just because you haven't experienced all the thing, I'm reiterating the same points, I'm aware, doesn't mean you aren't a real fan. Just because you can't afford to spend money on something doesn't mean you aren't a real fan. And choosing to not learn another fucking language doesn't mean you're not a real fan. I don't really know why I decided to talk about this. I remember seeing like it was either like a comment or a Reddit post or something somewhere that was like a couple years old at this point. So I know it's ridiculous for me to want to talk about something like that. But um or it might even have been a YouTube video. But it was an old it was something from a couple of years ago. And it got me thinking about this. And, well, yeah, that's the whole reason I made this video, to kind of voice my opinion on it. Uh, not that it really matters, but hey, this is what I think on the matter of what is a fan, and why I think just grading people in their level of fan is stupid, and then there's also like the anti-fan, someone that hates something, but still it, like indulges in it. Like people on YouTube that make content specifically on things they hate, that would be an anti-fan, if you will. But that's a whole again. I mentioned a bunch of like other kinds of worms, like gatekeeping and anti-fans, and there was something else earlier on. This hasn't even been a long video yet. I'm forgetting things I said already. What is wrong with me? I really should script these things, but like, I like the lazy sort of content where I just kind of talk. So that's what I do, and that was a completely irrelevant point to the video. But yeah, um. Tell me what you think uh, in the comments, and while you're there, maybe like, dislike if you feel like it, not that it matters, because no one will see it. I will, but no one else will. Uh, but yeah, leave a like, comment, sub. The notification bell's there too if you want. Uh, There's a bit of an awkward end to it, because I didn't really have anywhere to go, and honestly, there was no consistent thread throughout most of this, so I'm kind of just going with it, but yeah. Um, after, that, was, that was a ramble and a half, but yeah. With that said, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and I'll see you all next time for another video. Ta-ta!